Well, you know, don't jump so far to into finding, you know, exactly what x should be different than. Just state the two uh, conditions here. x minus 4 has to be different than 0, right? Because your denominator cannot be 0. That's the first restriction, and obviously that gives you that x has to be different than what? Then 4. My first restriction here for the domain, if you want, or for your solution set, because this is an equation. And the second one is x squared minus 3 x squared minus 3 has to be different than 0. Now, for this one, you have to solve x squared minus 3 equals 0 to find for what values of your x is this equation going to be 0. And the easiest way to solve it will be what? What is one easy way to solve it? What about adding 3 to both sides, right? Moving that 3 on the other side. You have x squared equals 3 which means your x could be what? If x squared equals 3, x is 1. By taking the square root of both sides, you have two roots for your x. x could be plus or minus square root 3. Am I right? Do you guys understand what I did here and how we found it? Now, because for these values of x, your denominator on the left side here, x squared minus 3, will be 0. You have to make sure that your x will be different than that. Okay? And these are your three, your three uh, restrictions. x has to be different than 4 and different than plus or minus square root 3. Okay? Now, getting back here, like Akal said, the way to start is by using cross product. This is a proportion, which means my cross product here will be equal, right? You can go with either one of them as it's the first cross product. I will use this one, x squared minus 3 times 5, which can be written as 5 times x squared minus 3. What property of multiplication am I using here by switching the place? What property is that? a times b equals b times a. Is what property? Trinity property, right? The other cross product, x times x minus 4. Now, let's perform this multiplication. I got 5x squared on the left, minus 5 times 3, which is 15, equals x times x will be x squared, minus x times negative 4 would be, actually, it's minus 4x, or x times negative 4 is minus 4x, negative 4x. Good. Now move everything on left side because this is a quadratic equation which I'm trying to solve. To accomplish that, I will subtract x squared from both sides and I will add 4x to both sides. Is this understandable? I'm going to find. You understand what I'm doing now, Meg? The subtraction is taking away this x squared. And you're adding 4x because on the left side, on the right side, I would try to have this zero, right? 5x squared minus x squared would be 4x squared. 4x plus no other x would be 4x. And then I have minus 15 equals zero. And now I have to solve this equation. As you guys can see, would be or maybe hard to calculate, so the best approach here would be to use the quadratic formula. And I'm looking for my A, my B, and my C. What is your A equal to here? Dominique, uh, please write down. What is your A? Dominique, what is my A equal to? Four. That's 4. You take only the coefficient. What is your B equal to? 4. What is your C equal to? Negative 15. All right. What should we do next? Brent. I'm trying to find my delta, right? B squared minus 4AC equals what? My B is 4. 4 squared. 
minus 4 times a, which is 4, times 4, times negative 15. And that equals, as you guys can see, minus and minus here will make a plus. So I have 4x four, four squared, which is 16, plus, and I have what? 4 times 4 times 15. 4 times 4 is 16. What is 16 times 15? What is an easy trick here to use? Well, I know 16 times 16, which is 16 squared, equal what? Do I know that? Well, if you know, if you don't know that, you can go with the other one, 15 times 15. What is 15 times 15? What is 15 times 15? 15 squared is what? 225, right? What is 16 squared? Is it 256? Well, you can check. You, you should try. Use a... Um, the calculator is not. Or do the multiplication. You have what? 16 squared. 256. Let's see. 15 squared. 225. Now, what I said, I'm going to use this one, because I because here for my delta, I have 16 multiplied by what? 16 times 15, right? Well, I can use either one of them. I can go from 15 times 15, and I can write 15 times 15 plus 1, right? Which will give me what? 15 times 15, I know it's 15 squared. 225 plus 16, which equals what? 240. All right. Well, I can use this one on the top here, 16 times 16. Well, to write 16 times 15 from here, I can say that's what? 16 times 16 minus 1, which equals what? Well, 16 times 16, we said, is 256 minus 16 times 1, which is 16. What is the answer here? Same, right? 240. Well, <laughs> it, it may seem the easier way, but I show you this thing here. However, I could have done it in my head in one step, because I know what is 16 squared, and obviously 16 squared being 256, I can subtract 16 right away, and I will know the answer, what is 16, 15, without doing anything. Just to show it to you as a trick, but I show you the steps, why and how I can use this thing. Okay? Now you can go whichever way it suits you. Multiplying, just you know, playing with 15 times 15. If that's your, your best your best way, go for it. With more practice you will see in the easiest way possible, right? So what is this? I have 16. Plus 16 times 15, which is what? 16 squared, actually. You guys see that? Is that 16 squared? Well, think about it. You have 15 16 to which you add one more 16. How many 16s do you want to have? 16 16, which is 15 squared. Does it make sense? I mean, I just did it here when I said 16 times 16. To find what is 16 times 15, I can write it as what? 16 times 6 times 15 plus 1. I just show it to you. <laughs> Which is 16 times 15 plus 16. So that's what we have on the top. What is that? That's 16 squared. All right, your delta is 16 squared. Looks pretty. Let's go with the next step, finding x1 and x2 equals what? Minus b plus minus square root of your delta over 2a. And this equals what? Substitute all the values. I know b is 4, so I have minus 4 plus minus square root of 16 squared over 2 times a over 2 times 4. And you have your x1 and 2 will be minus 4 plus minus 16 
over 8. And we have two solutions for this. What is minus 4 plus 16? That'll be 12, right? 12, 8. We can simplify by 4, and that will give you 3 halves, yes. For the second one, minus 4 minus 16 will be negative 20 over 8. We can simplify by 4. This is going to be negative 5 plus half. One thing you should check if, you know, you should check if you've got any one of your restrictions as solutions and eliminate them. But x has to be different only by, uh, only if then 4, different than 4, and different than positive and negative square root 3. 3 halves and negative 5 halves are not equal to that. You're good. These are your solutions. Okay? You may say x equals 3 halves and negative 5 halves. 